This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. I know we finally killed off that griffin. Hip hip hooray. I'm happy. I'm delighted. I'm relieved. No more crazy bird killing monsters in the sky. But before I leave, I figured I might as well just check on the board here to see if there's any missions for me. Anything that I can do before I actually finally head off in this area. Let me see here. Um, this Thursday, all peasants living nearby are invited to come listen to Captain Peter speak on the subject of laws soon to be introduced. Oh, what a bore. Is there any... Any... Oh, wait, what's this? Brother missing. Bastin, my brother, went off to fight the Black Ones. I've reason to think he stood in the great battle nearby. He's now returned to this day, like many others, you'll say, and you'll be in the right. But if he fell, and I know it's like he did, I'd give him up to the ground the least, like our fathers have done always. I'd bury him neath the barrow where our parents lie. Now I leave his corpse to be ate by the corpses prowling the battleground. So I seek a man brave, able of a sword and willing to venture out with me to find Bastin. I won't pay much, for I have not much to give, but I'm not stingy with gratitude and sure to show it a plenty. Any man willing to help, look for a raised hut along the road to White Orchard, just near the bridge. I've made camp there. Interesting. I actually, I actually do want to do this quest here. Lover of ladies here, like my video, share my video, leave your comments below because I just love talking to you guys. But most importantly, please subscribe to the channel. That way you'll be able to get daily gaming content from me and hit that notification button as well. So you know when I upload my videos. Missing in action. That is the quest we are going to be doing. Because I'm the type where, yeah, I'll do the main quest for sure. But I also enjoy the side quest. And a couple years ago when I first started this game, that was one of the many reasons why I loved playing The Witcher 3. Because of the fact that... The side quests are actually way more interesting compared to the main quest. At least with me, specifically, that's my point of view. A couple of you guys could say it's vice versa. But I just feel like the side quests are a lot more crazier, a lot more juicier in terms of story. And I end up falling in love with, with this game because of it. So I'm actually pretty excited to make this series as fun as possible. Picking out the craziest quest, the craziest side quest that I can ever find. Oh, we're here. We are here and someone's crying, oof. Do that often? Talk to your dog? It's my brother's, Bastion's, but Guess he's mine now. What a cute little See, doggy! Bastion fought the black ones in a battle just outside the village. I haven't had word of him since. I told him, do like I did, lose a finger or two so they won't recruit you. Too damn afeard he was. Bloody hell. I am so sorry about your possible loss. I really I'd walk am. The battlefield if I were you. I did. Sea of corpses. Uh huh. And corpses feeding, feeding, eating Someone stuff in their face. Of fire, so I took a torch, tried to chase them off. Poor shite, I tell you. Would have ended up eaten alive if it weren't for Hassar here. 
And her Listen, son's a good boy. Guessing you carry those swords for more than show. I guess you're me. right. Keep the ghouls off. Help me find Bastion and I'll pay you well. Pay with coins or gratitude, just like what the, your post said. Fine, I'll help you. Just been a few days since the battle. Chances we find your brother alive or slim. Pretty slim. Very slim. Barely Very slim. Thought. But I want to find his body at least. So Bastion don't rot there in the sun with the black ones. I respect that. I'll help you. Overlooking the battlefield. We'll move on together from there. Sweet. Nearby. Where's my horse? Where's my horse? Ooh. I was not supposed to do that. Uh, there you go. Come on, horsey. You see, I play so many games Move sometimes, it. I even forget how to play this game. Okay, so... Guys, let's do a let's do a nice little bet here. Will we actually find his brother alive or dead? I mean, Grawl did say it's been a few days. So most likely most likely his body is just laying there. Now the question is, would it be some corpse's meal? I hope not. I'm not really in the mood to see that. I'll be really depressed. Wow, look at this. Look at the battlefield. Wait a minute. I could probably sell this. I'm not going to lie. Are you here? Hey. I just got here. So, your thoughts, your plans? You're here, good. Bastion. His body must be here somewhere. Oh, this is rough. Among countless others. Want to examine them one by one? Could take a while. You needn't fret. The recruits from White Orchard painted a small flower on their shields so as to be able to spot each other in battle. Good, good to know. We look for the flowers, we'll find Bastion quick. No offense, okay. but many a soldier's dropped his shield. Especially if he was on the losing side. What are you saying? If we find the shield alone, Hassan will catch the scent and lead us to Bastion. Come on. Sooner we get this done, the better. And you're rushing me, my man? Objectives will sometimes direct you to a general area when the exact position of your target's unknown. Go to the mark site. Well, let's see. Witcher senses. Oh, yeah, I see. I see. Uh, well, actually, I hear some corpses, so. Oh, this is so crazy. We are actually walking in. Ooh, I'll take some water. I'll take that. Thank you so much. I mean, I know a lot of people will be like, Hell no, I'm not gonna rob or loot these bodies. But the thing is, um... They're not gonna use these items anymore, so... I say... It makes sense for me to take them because I, a living, breathing being, is going to be able to use them. Kind of like a nice little gift, you know? So this is not it. I don't see anything. I know that dog is just sniffing everything. Sniffing. Oh, when you find tracks or other clues, walk close and press X to examine them. Is that him? No. Doesn't look anything like him. No. Oh, look at the dog. Oh, look at the dog. Husser. He is sniffing. He Come wants to find Hassan. I'm so sorry for mispronouncing your name. So, um, we got a couple of creatures here. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's go. Hurry up. Let's go. Disgusting creatures. I'll take that. Thank you. What are we looking at here? Come here. There you go. Disgusting. Disgusting. Disgusting creatures. 
Insane. Insane. So, wait, wait, hold on. Let me see something. I'll take that. Thank you. And I'll take that. Awesome. And I'll take that. Now, what am I... What am I looking at here? Thank you. What about this guy? Is he your brother? Come on, let me let me touch the seal. This ain't a good time to chat. Let's do what we've come for and get that in. No. I'm not chatting. Ooh, awkward. Now you know, right? Oh, come on, SR. Can you smell Bastion, boy? We are dealing with a lot of bodies here. Please, that just him. don't. No. Oh, no, not another one. We're dealing with a lot of bodies here, so don't get too discouraged, okay? This this is a lot for this dog. Hold on, let me see. Give me something. Give me something. Maybe towards the edge over here. Wait, what's this? Skin's burned off. Might be hard to tell, I know, but could this be him? Oh, yeah. Bastion was big, broad shoulder. Okay. This one seems smaller, but maybe it's the fire did that. So it is. He found him! Hassar's caught, he's sent! Come on! Okay, okay. Let's go, let's go. I'm so glad that was not the burned buddy. Come on! Come on, baby! I'm right behind you. Ooh! Up, oh, not it, not yet. Not it, not yet. <gasps> Wait a minute! Wait a minute. I just realized something. There's tracks here. Your brother ran off and he hid the whole time. But there is more. My lieutenant demanded we defecate on command. Ballista bolts landing all around, and all he could say was, A soldier with a full stomach will not step onto the battlefield. Now, shit. That oh, wow. Is an order. That is Can insane. The cretin. Stop. Uh, you're, uh, you're killing me. My, my ribs. Uh, it hurts to laugh. That needs a tourniquet. But first, want to explain what's going on here? Bastion! Is he. Has this Nilf Guardian captured you? No. He saved my life. I, I got a cut to me side. And then got hit in the head. Oh, wow, that's Couldn't horrible. Couldn't see anything. Rosin here found me as... As he crawled across the battlefield. His legs twisted. And so we were. A blind man leading a cripple. Found this place. What a funny situation. We need to see to these wounds. I won't leave Rose in here. I'll own he'll die. And he can't go back to his home. He's deserted. They'll hang him. And what if they find him with us? They'll hang us all, my Laisha included. No, the blackened stays here. Oh, come on. Okay, you know what? I could see why, but at the end of the day, he did save his life. And if you leave him here, he'll die. Bastion only made it with the Black One's help. Maybe you ought to show him Nordlings aren't as barbarous as Nilf Guardians make us out to be. Ooh, yeah, prove them wrong. Well, I could give him our pa's clothes. Yes. To work the field. Yes. But that accent. So teach him. Fine. I'll take him in. Teach him how to speak so he can lose the Thank accent. You, Your reward. And the gods protect you. Thank you. I'm just glad that we found Bastion alive. Ooh, what's this? Thank you. And go luck to you guys. You are the most goodest boy I've ever seen, baby. Mwah, you're so adorable. I love you. You're so cute. Alright, let me see what other quest is there for me to have. Uh, volunteers wanted by order of Captain Peter. Let it hereby be known that enlistment in the Imperial Army is now open. 
Recruits would be provided with room, board, and regular pay. Yet the greatest payment of all is the honor of serving... Shut up! Shut up! Shut up. Once enlisted, recruits would be trained under the tutelage of the Emperor's greatest strategies. Recruits' families would be assured sufficient substance for the entire time of their service. In the case of their death in the field of glory, they will receive a lifelong pension. Wow. I mean, sounds like the modern day army, if you ask me. Wanted, deserter. Last night, a soldier fled from the army camp under cover of darkness. The wanted man, a recruit who recently volunteered to join his Imperial Majesty's service, goes by the name of Odin. He claimed to be a Kadiweni by birth, but said King Hensett's misrule had convinced him to join the Imperial Army. He was part of said institution for a mere two days, but managed to eat and drink enough in that time for an entire regiment of dragoons. Anyone with information about this deserter's present location is to report to the garrison at once. Description. Modest statue. Weary with thin and hair. He fled in his undergarments by squeezing out through the latrines drainage system and probably thus reeks like an old boar. Characteristic marks can be easily recognized by his voice, which has the telltale rasp of a hardened alcoholic. Anyone found providing shelter or subsistence to this deserter will be subjected to a summary court martial. No? Huh. Interesting, interesting, interesting. No new missions. At this point, I might as well just leave because... There's nothing else for me to do here. Everything else is just gossip, you know? Oh, there is Vesemir. Yennefer's Friend. In Vizima. Got a few friends there, so... So let's go. Let's hop off. Wrong. Look around. Trouble brewing. Mm-hmm. Who are they? Patriots, drinking their seventh round for Tamaria, fists starting to itch. Don't see any enough guardians. They'll find another foe. I'll buy some provisions for the journey, then we'll go. Yes, Geralt, finally. We should stay out of it, just this once. Fine, say less. I guess I'll behave. What happened to the lilies? Took them down. Took them down? To hang a golden sun there now? I cannot show Tamerian colors. They'll come and burn the tavern down. That is so wrong. Maybe it's true what they say. You fund of the Imperials. You Nilfgaard's whore. Did you just hear her explanation? Her business is in danger. I know grief eats at your heart. You know shit. They hang my sister, dragged That's why. the cloister like a dog. That's Set why she's acting like no that. For superstition, that they don't fear the wrath of the gods. And you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to Let's my sister to the birth. And you don't fear the gods' wrath. You don't fear it, you cunt. <gasps> Yo! Chill! Yo! What is wrong Let with you? Breathe. Ignorant little wench! Recognize this medallion? You know what it means. Back off. You alright? Wow, I can't believe she did that to I her. Which is still youngins. What? That's true. Oh, you're really finding an excuse, freaks. huh? Your own land, like he did the elves once. Get out, all of you. We ain't going nowhere. Oh, uh, we're really going to fight, I mean, huh? Then, are you? They won't back down now. I so we're going to slaughter that. them? Okay. I guess we're going to slaughter all of them. 
Next. Next. Are we done? Ooh. Ooh. Wow. That was horrible. It's, right. it's over. Leave me be! Get away! Now they're afraid of you. Including the innkeeper, too. See his face! God save us! Be gone. And don't ever come back. Yeah, I won't. Let's go. So much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. Great. They heard us oh, killing. We didn't start it. Wait, who's that? <gasps> Yennefer? I didn't even need to search you. Excuses. You've not changed a bit. Wow. Yennefer in the flesh. Yeah. How? Look at him stuttering. I a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but well, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. You remind me of my girlfriend. Good to see you. She no, is also I'd, not a patient woman. I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Oh, Sorry. no. I wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? I mm. didn't imagine you'd have a Nilf Guardian escort. Thanks for the oh, save. Wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you. But I do think you owe us an explanation. And yeah, like in Vizima. Really? Ready your horses. What? We're leaving now. Okay. Uh What? Yeah, this one. We can talk here. Some charming orchards nearby in bloom even. So you almost can't smell the corpses. A tempting proposition. Sadly, I must say no. Oh, you man. See someone awaits you in Vizima. Who? Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Who? Emperor Emir Var Emrys. Or, to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. That's a long title to remember. I'm among that group. For as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well, now he wishes to make you an offer. Is it because... One can't refuse. I didn't. Though I could have. Wow. So, what was your deal? Must have been a damn good offer then. Not many things you'd give up your freedom for, and even fewer people. So I must have been a so one hell of an offer. You'll find out. Mm. What about oh. you? I'm going in the opposite direction. Really? I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Caremore. Remember? Yeah, I remember. Thanks for your help, Vesemir. See you soon. I miss you already, friend. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible. Why are you in such a rush? That's what I want to know. Why are you in such a rush? I should have asked that instead. Bye, Vesemir. I'll miss you. Behave. Even though I don't behave. I am so happy to finally be back right by Yennefer's side. You see the way he's staring at her too? Okay, I see you. No, had a dream about you recently. Knowing you, it was probably filthy. <gasps> what? I'm innocent. Just the beginning. But then. But then. Wait, the snow? Yo! We're being attacked. We need to leave. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. They're right behind us. Ooh, one sound. They got one person. Oh, they got the other. Oh, man, this is bad. This is bad. Are we going to make it? Yennefer, you good? Oh, the third one's down. 
I repeat, the third one is down. They can try and chase us all they want, but we're gonna escape. You know, because plot armor. Told you. We good. We good. I believe that they were there to try and get Yennefer. After the audience. The audience? What audience? This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. Wow! Look at all these ladies giving me a bath. I mean, I guess nothing wrong being clean. But why couldn't Yennefer give me a bath? I bet they were all staring at his penis, too. Thirsty. He even mm -hmm. let the man breathe. It must suffice. Excuse me? Thinking That's right. If I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his imperial majesty by his full title or not at all. So, not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the berger. What the? What, now? what is that? In that chair. So why couldn't you just say chair? Oh, y'all and your fancy words. Side burns to half an inch. Is this what you guys did to Yennefer too? Half an inch. What's wrong with my beard? Always thought it added to my dignity. It does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. Oh, really? In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. Especially beards infested with lice. Infested with one. what? Fine. Do your thing. Infested with lice? Put your head back, please. And sit still. For real? You really have lice on your face? That's concerning. Yo. And prepare to answer some questions. Great. General, I am not certain this is the appropriate time. I can't think of a better time. Men turn honest when they feel a blade at their throat. You are so weird. Moran Voris, commander of the Alba Division. Before they take you in to see the Emperor, which, uh, there's some information I need you to verify. It's a formality, but one that must be seen to. Sure. Paperwork's gotta be in order. So, Geralt of Rivia. Mm -hmm. Place of birth unknown. Parents mm -hmm. unknown. Correct. Age unknown. Um. All insignificant details. Okay, so Let's what are you asking? To more recent events. The siege of La Valette Castle. The fate of the defending commander, one Arya. Okay, so here's the thing. The only reason why this guy is asking is because he's trying to figure out the events of what happened on The Witcher 2, which I've never played that game. So I'm, a, I'm at a very big disadvantage here. So, I don't know. You know what? I'll just choose this. I'll choose this one, see what happens. We fought on opposing sides, true. Then we landed in the same dungeon. Arian escaped. Set fire to the castle on his way out. Ah. So that is how the blade started. Yes. Our report suggested the dragon was responsible. No, Moving this is on. not Skyrim. You then found shelter in charming Flotsam, and from there made your way to Virgen. My question is how? See, another question. Uh... I'll pick this one? I got out of Flotsam with Vernon Roach. Commander of the Blue Stripes and... A murderer of non-humans. We know this gentleman well, Witcher. You forge interesting alliances. I hope Something I'm making the right choices. Interesting is yet to come. Go on, next question. Before my beard grows back in. Yeah. We shall shame Let's go. You again if it does. Mm. Very well. 
On point with the sarcasm. The infamous summit at Loch Muin. Mm -hmm. You were there. And once again meddled in the affairs of the mighty. Okay. Oh, I'll pick this one. The mighty had imprisoned Triss Marigold. Ought to know I care about her. And I tend to rescue those I care about. And so you did, handing Radovid control of the Conclave and Council of Mages in the process. Nilfgaard recently started a war, unprovoked. So do us both a favor and stop moralizing. The Ooh. gentleman must sit still. I'm almost done. I'm Look afraid at... I might find that difficult. Because from what I know, shortly afterwards you watched a defective megascope blow your friend Sheila de Tansom to bits. I watched her get in the megascope, but ultimately freed her from the trap your man Letho of Gullet had set. Write that down. I want to be sure the paperwork's in order now. Well... National interest calls on one to forge difficult alliances at times. Alliances with witches included. Hey, listen, so for the ones who actually played The Witcher 2, the choices that I made so far, what do you think? Do you think that it would make sense for me to pick that? Or would you be like, listen, I know you don't know what's going on, but next time play Witcher 2 before you do these, uh, Choices. That an ongoing alliance? What's Letho up to? I had hoped you would answer that question. Uh, well, I don't. So Letho's hiding from you. Must have a good reason. Was there a shift in national interest that might have caused that? I don't know where he is. Wouldn't tell you if I did anyway. Blade or no blade to my throat. That's right, I, I ain't no snitch. Your signature, please, affirming you stated the whole truth and nothing but the truth. On blah, the blah, blah. Death, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Blah, 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 blah. With these formalities seen to, I would ask the general to leave the room. Finally, you thank you. The gentleman's attire. An important matter, but one that does not require the general's assistance. Thank you. I might have given you some advice. So long, Geralt. Good luck. With your audience. Thank you. And a nice and clean shave too, so. Wait. I'm choosing my outfits now? Feels what? more like I'm being ready for a wedding. Were that so, I would have prepared the gentleman a frock, a tailcoat, or possibly a dinner jacket. In point of fact, the gentleman will choose from these garments. Where are my clothes? Where they should have gone long ago, with the laundress. Oh, thank you for they will washing be them. To you after the audience, clean and starched. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. All right, I, I guess I'm forced to pick. Great. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.